Welcome to Phronesis Life, where you get practical wisdom for daily living. We will be talking on a topic which says, No Lack. And our text is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Notice that Paul didn't say, My God shall supply all our need. He knew that the new creation isn't in lack. The new creation doesn't need to be supplied. He is the supplier. Romans chapter 8, verse 17 says, We are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Paul, with this understanding, said to the spiritually immature, But my God shall supply all your need. When you've come of age, you will realize that in Christ we don't have any unmet needs. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. When you seek the kingdom of God first, every good thing you could ever wish for would be added to your life without you having to ask. You won't need to try to be happy, fulfilled, or triumphant in life. You won't need to pursue the things that the Gentiles seek, which are fame, money, recognition, acceptance. They shall be added unto you in Christ. This doesn't mean that after you have first sought and got the kingdom of God, then you can go and seek other things. No. Seek the kingdom and you will get the rest of them combined. You may say, yeah, that is why I'm seeking the kingdom of God. No. Don't seek anymore. You already found it if you are born again. You are already in the kingdom, and the kingdom is in you. Luke chapter 17, verse 21. To have the kingdom is to have all things. All things are in Christ. Glory to God. Don't look at what you may consider a need. Look at what is lavishly made available to you in Christ. You were called unto the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ. That means you have been brought into oneness, partnership or family union with Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9 If this tr is true, which I know is true, what in the world could you ever be in need of? Affirm God's word in your life. He has said all things are yours. Declare the same. Because truly, there is nothing you require that hasn't been provided in Christ. You need to come to this consciousness. You need to be aware of this. 
And once you come to this consciousness, your orientation, your, your thinking changes automatically. Hallelujah. Confession. I testify that all things are mine. I lack nothing. Because the Lord is my sufficiency. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside the still waters. His divine power has given me all things that pertain to life and godliness. Glory to his name forever. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Subscribe to this channel. God bless you.